We're going to begin under important persons and writings with Clement of Rome. Now, Clement of Rome, there's really not a whole lot known about him. Uh, he might possibly be the Clement mentioned in Philippians 4.3, although that's uncertain. You need to understand Clement would have been a very popular name during that time. Uh, nothing is really known about this particular Clement um, contrary or, or in uh, contrast to the Clement of Alexandria, who would come along a hundred years later, whom we know a tremendous amount about. Clement of Rome was uh, the presbyter or the bishop, and we'll explain that term in a little bit, uh, in the Roman church. He was supposedly, at least in the line of bishops, uh, the fourth bishop of Rome. The reason Clement actually gets our attention is because the letter, First Clement, bearing his name, is the oldest non-inspired, non-canonical Christian writing that we have. It actually goes back to A.D. 95-96. And so it's very, very early. The letter that we have, known as First Clement, was written to the Corinthian church. Uh, what's fascinating about this letter to the Corinthian church is that Clement spends a number of paragraphs extolling how much the Corinthians had grown, how mature they had become, which might, it, as you first read it, you might have a sense of hope that maybe Paul's labors paid off. But then you become very quickly aware, and I read uh, what is identified as as section 3, he says, But when good repute and rising numbers were granted to you in full measure, good reputation of the church, growing in numbers, the saying of Scripture came to pass, My beloved did eat and drink, he grew and waxed fat and kicked. Envy and jealousy sprang up, strife and dissension, aggression and rioting, scuffles and kidnappings. Men of the baser sort rose up against their betters, the rabble against the respectable, folly against wisdom, youth against its elders. That little expression, by the way, men of baser sort rose up against their betters, the rabble against the respectable, folly against wisdom, youth against its elders, is a reference to, um, uh, as it were, a coup that occurred in the Corinthian church, where the elders uh, of the Corinthian church were men of, of wisdom and experience and age, and it seems that there was a coup by the younger men to overthrow the aged and wise leadership, and that's how Clement describes uh, that. He says, and now all righteousness and peace among you is at an end. Everywhere men are renouncing the fear of God, the eye of faith has grown dim, and instead of following the commandments and living as becomes a citizen of Christ, each one walks after the desires of his own wicked heart. All have fallen back into the horrible sin of envy, the sin that brought death into this world. And so, as you begin to read on in First Clement, you realize that the sins that plagued the church during the Apostle Paul's day were the sins that plagued it decades later. Uh, in this letter, what is really fascinating is that the letter basically is a pastoral exhortation. One uh, aged bishop or presbyter writing to a church that was in trouble is an exhortation that is full of quotations from the Old Testament and from the New Testament, by the way, which has given liberal scholars fits over the years because they assume that most of the New Testament was written after that time period. Well, here are full quotations in Clement uh, to the church at Corinth from even the Apostle Paul. So there's this exhortation as using scripture, and really the exhortation is that the church would return to a place of humility and of peace. Uh, in it, it's warm, it's pastoral, it's filled with exhortation, and it's very instructive in terms of how the early apostolic fathers viewed the apostles. Clement makes a very important distinction between himself and the Apostle Paul and the other apostles. He, he goes so far to say, we are not the apostles. 
Those who spoke the word of God to us first, they were the ones who were the authoritative figures of the church. We're following in their tradition. We are imitating them. And so Clement of Rome and the letter of 1 Clement uh, stands as a very important person in writing in the early church.